Hello everybody, my name is Caretaker and I run the Facebook page Lavender Town and welcome back to my 100% Let's Play slash Guide of Psychonauts and again, look at those fucking faces. And seriously, with this music and like wipe of the lake, like no, 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 no. The game takes a really dark turn near the end of the, like, near the ending. It, it just gets really fucking weird. So, now that you're here, you want to equip Mr. Pokelope and jump into the tube. Where would you like me, Crowler? I would like to go to nowhere. Actually, before I go anywhere, let me make sure I have enough Psychors. Uh, nope, I need a lot more. Let me go buy some. Psy First, when you get down here, you want to buy some Psychors because we're actually going to hit level 95 and get infinite ammo before we go on. Luckily, we have way too much money. Ah, 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 ah. And as I said before, this is literally nothing but an achievement episode. Everything in this episode is achievements. Oh, you are not able to hit me up here. Okay. So now that we're um, y'all, we just go splurge my ass off on this stuff. Hey, take a look. Take a look. Another minor gripe. I really wish I could have skipped this. I'm gonna go up to 10 just in case, but I'm pretty sure I don't need this many. Nothing, let me go, you son of a bitch. I just realized I am not a very PG Let's Player. <laughs> Shazam! Never miss! Ah, oh, it's delicious. I would like to go to for this. Yes, Noble Psycho Master. Well, thank you. Alright, when you get here, before you go, do you rebrain the kids? You know, of course. Untangle your webs. You don't say. You don't say. And of course, you know what this means. Psy power upgrade earned infinite ammo by tapping into the raw power of the nearby titanium deposit. You'll obtain infinite psychic ammo for Psy blast and confusion. And you get a bonus scene at 100. And I'm not gonna show you until we hit 100. So, tough shit. <laughs> Sorry, I like to tease. And I'm literally so OCD, I'm about to go and. Oh god, I might actually just go buy a ton of Psy cores. Wait, how do we have six. How do we have six side cars? Why do we have six side cars? I've collected them all. I know I have. I haven't. I. Oh, well, I guess we're gonna find out if I haven't or haven't, huh? There is sadly no real way to tell. All right, seriously, where is this damn path? There it is. Crawler being sneaky on me, as you can see, infinite ammo, and just to prove it, infinite ammo, ho ho ho. Are you ready? Yes. Oh my god. Well, the good thing about you finding that kid's brain, besides the whole thinking and feeling they'll be able to do now, is that they will be adding their subconscious mental attention to your quest, and the energy will increase your mental health potential. That sounds great. But is the surgery going to be dangerous? Nothing's dangerous when you have the right tools. Messy, yes, but not dangerous. And so that's why, even though she is a girl, and we are good friends, she is not technically my girlfriend. Wha 
I can tell you one thing. My daddy's never going to send me to this camp again. Where's Kitty? Never mind. I'll find her. So, as you can imagine, we are in some bad trouble. Sounds like it's time something bad happened to our fine coach. Well, let me tell you what our plan is. Please, you have your plan, I have mine. But say no more. And that's how the coach is planning to take over the world. <laughs> wow, that is so not chill. Hey, where's Phoebe? We're gonna be rebraining her really soon. Well, when she comes out, she's gonna wanna hit stuff. I better go wait by her drums. And so, long story short, we're hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. Well, there's only one thing that can make this better. Pedicure. See ya! And that's why we have to find Lily right away. That is some crazy stuff, guys. I'm kinda glad I was out for most of it. Well, with the world ending and everything, I should probably go see what girls want to make out one last time. So I said Brainer? I don't even know her. <laughs> Crystal. So, any questions? Is Elton okay? Well, he'll be fully brain soon. I promise. When he comes out, tell him I'm waiting for him down by the docks, okay? Hey, do you want to help us save the... Typical. Scared. You better believe I was scared. You'd have to be a fool not to be. But the trick is to never let them see you sweat. Wow. I guess that's what those squirrels were trying to tell me. Huh? They kept saying... The tiny man is gonna kill everyone. I thought they were talking about me. Oh man, I have to go apologize. The end. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna go get on the coach's radio and call for help. See, now that's an excellent idea. Why can't everyone be so helpful? Yeah, I modified the antenna, so now it broadcasts straight into outer space. And that's why we need your help more than anybody's. Well, shut my mouth. I better go patrol the living quarters, guard the women folk and all. Say, is my hombre walking around yet? Not yet, but soon. I just hope he forgives me for acting like such a dang fool. And that's why finding your brain in particular was my highest priority. You know, I'll bet if JT wasn't so distracted, this wouldn't have happened. He's probably with that prissy little show pony right now. No. Actually, I think her mind's on other things at the moment. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll go see what's up. One of us at least should be guarding the sleeping quarters. And that is how I beat the hideous hulking lungfish of Lake Oblongata. Hmm. So, does the coach, uh, does he have an evil sidekick? A yes man? Or, or a lick spittle? Anything? Not sure. Why? Uh... No reason. Bye. No, I promise you. You didn't drool at all. Is Milka okay? Yeah, she's waiting for you down by the docks. Gotcha. Hey, do you want to help us save the... Okay, is making out all anyone thinks about in this place? So that's who's been kidnapping all the kids. Oh, man. I just want to burn that coach. Hey, where's Quentin? He's waiting for you in band practice. He better not be painting the wrong band name on my drums again. That's a good question. But I didn't taste it, so I don't really know the answer for sure. Well, if Brain Tank come after Mikhail, it will be sorry. Better go find Tiny Boss, see what his plan. And then the lungfish ate me and we became best friends. Oh my god. I know. I mean, oh my god. I know. Yes, and because you got your brain stolen and I didn't, yes, I do. I think I'm better than you. Aha! I knew it! Well, you're wrong! Have fun dying! And so that's what happened to your brain. Wow, what an amazing story. I mean, that is a really, really good story. And you know what the best part is? I'm in it.
I better go write that whole thing down before we all get killed. And that's how I earned all my merit badges. OMG! I feel so stupid for throwing myself off the roof now! What? Why'd you throw yourself off the roof? Because the poison didn't work. Listen, I have to go! The world could use some major league cheering right about now! Agent Cruller? What is the current situation? I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Alright, and once you've completed all of that, you will obtain the achievement. Now you're this level, you will get no solid food for six hours. We brain the children. I'm pretty sure that's it. Now we're gonna go for I think they're impressed. Increase all camp kids to Mr. Pokelope and finish off the third tier of Made Man. Witness Maloof's transformation. Because we've been waiting to do that all this time. And we haven't done it, so let's go ahead and do it this episode, and we're off. And yes, this is how much health you get. I think at 100 it maxes out, but I'm not 100%. Don't quote me on that one. Then again, I'm also missing some side cards, so. All right, the first place you want to go is go to the kids' cabin area. All right, you get this achievement, which is, you know, I think they were impressed, or Mr. Pokelope. You have to go find every single child equip mr pokelope as such and like i said just go find him wherever they are there's this oh come on get, get, there we go walk up to him and just be like now i would advise going and clicking each one like, like such Better go put that little guy somewhere safe. There's a war on right now, you know. I'd like you they don't say much, but you definitely want to listen nice to it to just in case. Someone. Better keep that little head tucked away until we give the all clear. I say there's four. I think there's like 19 no students to fire. I'll get you back to Shigor right away. Yeah, not just yet. I said you want to go talk to Dogen. And so I'm really sorry for not believing you. Right. Yeah, that too. I should really not have blown so many of you up. I just get so confused sometimes. Yes, you do, Dogen. It's okay, buddy. I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokeyo. Hi. I like your hat. I could have sworn that there was two of them that used to stand right here. I suppose not. It's kind of strange that I know there was two of them that used to stand there. Anyway, now that we're done in the kids' cabin area. When you go to the main ground so we can finish made trans uh, made man with this malicious transformation. Now I think there are a few kids in this area. I can't really remember to be honest. Bounce over here and come to his truck and you can see wire the other end to the gas tank. Oh, hello Rasputin. What are you guys doing? Taking care of business. The fewer questions you ask, the better. Hey, want to help me save the world? We are. This is how we handle things in my family. I wonder if the coach has a little jetpack or something to help him get in and out of this thing. Hey, want to help me save the world? We are. No, I can't mess around with Mr. Pokelo. I'd, I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokelo. Seems like a nice turtle. You shouldn't get him involved in this mess, Rat. No, I can't mess around with Mr. Pokelo. I've got no. I can't mess around. I'd like, Seems like a nice I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokelo. Um, like nice I don't think you have to really worry about showing them to both. I think you only have to show one. And I think there's a few other kids up here. I don't like being in this area because there is another freaking. I don't. There it is. I have no idea how it is said that, and I'm not going to complain. That was awesome. Alright, and then coming to here. This is going to be another long episode. I really hope y'all are enjoying these longer episodes. I try to keep them pretty short, but, you know, some of these are hey, pretty are long. Oh, man. Oh, I thought you stopped. No, 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 no. Let's go. Somehow. Hey, little turtle. I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokey, <laughs> 
Okay, I'm sorry, and this next song is going out to you. Sorry, 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 my bad. Not to I'm worry, sorry. my bro. Well, let's just pick it up from the part where I do Don't that worry, thing. I'll get you back to sheep. Said so it's all the kids so far in the campgrounds, everywhere else. Um, I'm gonna go to every area just to make sure to show you where all the kids are in case I miss them myself. Oh, damn, I didn't know I did that. Cool. And then, da -da -da. Oh, this says you have to show every single you know, child here, Mr. Pokelope. Every one. Now, make sure if you more, and I might just cut it off. I don't know. I think I'm being pretty, pretty thorough here. I don't have to be. Just saying. Let's find the other two kids, the cheerleading Listen, squad. You gotta help. You gotta kill me, son. I can't take the cheer anymore. I'm sorry I put their brains back. Maybe a bear will get them soon. <laughs> if not, you gotta find my drain cleaner and pour it down my throat, okay? Yeah, this game's in very dark humor. I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokelo. Three cheers for Mr. Pokelo! I'd like you to meet I said a lot of these kids are uh, their joints and you don't have to actually do anything with them. You just kind of talk to them and stuff. Oh, apparently that's the best way to knock them out is to just run into them with a the ball when you have wrecking ball. Huh, I again, you learn something new every day. Warning, geodesic psycho-isolation chain. Uh, and I do believe that there is no one else in this don't, area. At least I'm pretty sure there isn't. I'm trying to think of where everyone else is. Definitely want to check here. Uh, but I think there's just that. Yeah, just this damn thing. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Look at my ball of doom. Um, I think I actually did miss one, and that was the girl in the space helmet, which for some reason I can't remember her name, but she is back in the main area, and if you go all through the coach's area, you know, Coach Oleander, where he was before, he's actually up there. But, you know, I'll, I'll even show you before I finish this off, because, you know, I figure if I'm going to show everyone, I might as well show them all, right? So we're going to go to the boathouse. Quite a few of them are hanging around here too. As you know, Nils and them, they're usually here kissing, but they're in a different spot this time. Where are you at? I heard him. There they are. Of course. I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokelo. Mm. Hi. I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokelo. Mm. Hi. I see most of the time it's the joint thing, and I don't know where Bobby Zilch is. Huh. I'm trying to think of where he would be. I'll get you back to Shigor right away. Hmm. I'd like you to meet Mr. Pokilo. Greetings, Mr. Pokilo. Stay away from the canoes, and we won't have any problems. Understand? I could have sworn Zilch beer on this area. Hmm. Mr. Zilch, where are you? Yes, we get it. Got a canoe, whatever. Hmm. Let's go back to the kids' cabin area, I suppose. I think some of the kids legitimately just kind of go away. Like they don't, you don't see them for the rest of the game. Ugh! I mean, they do that, or they're just kind of secrets. But I think the rest of them are actually at the kids' cabin area. Because I know Bobby Zelt is in a relationship with what is her name? I can't remember her name. Is it girl with the? Chloe. It is Chloe, okay. Yeah, Zilch is in a relationship with her. So, let's see, we're missing what? 
I see, we've got all the side cards. I don't understand why we ha need these side cards anymore. I, I think you need a few mental cobwebs in one of the last levels. Like, I think there's a few left. Possibly three left. I hope there is. If not, I will go back and it will find if I missed any, so. Equip the Pokelope. And, ha-ha! Zilch. And Chloe. You know, turtles are just visitors from another galaxy who never left. Their shells are actually atmospheric re-entry heat shields. Everyone knows that. And I'm not sure where that little guy is. You know, they do with the weird ears and uh, evil disposition, as it were. I don't know where he is, but I'm pretty sure once you've pretty much talked to all of them, you should get the achievement. Uh, like I said, I've been pretty much everywhere. And that's that. Alrighty then. And now that we've basically collected and done everything we possibly can. So once you've done all that, you should have height of insanity or close to that one. You should have push all of this. They, I would live forever. No solid food for six hours. Look at these pansies. We just did. I think they were impressed. We've done made man now. That'll be completed. And then we've also done, I always do more, you know, a lot of that stuff. And before I forget, what you want to do is go back to Agent 9's lab, since he does have the brain tumbler, and go back to every single world you've ever been to. Like, just, just go back to them. I'm not going to tell you, like, I'm not going to go over it and go to every single world to explain you how to get it. It's pretty simple. Literally, go back to every world you've beaten. It's pretty self-explanatory. Every time you beat every world you've beaten, victor door. In fact, the way to get this is, in the very final level, there is a warp, like one of those little yellow guys that sends you to different brains. Use that to go back to every single mind. While in the last level, use that to go to every single mind that you've already 100% completed or just beat. I don't think you have to 100% to comp yeah. I don't think you have to 100% complete them. But I do believe that you have to you know go back. And the best way to do it is to take that to come in here. You can this level is on um, this level's locked. This is the last level right here. You can see we've completed Black Philotopia. Trash the shooting gallery. Glorious theater is completed. Coach Elanda's basic braining. Unfishopolis. Brain tumbler experiment is complete. Mila's dance party. Waterly world. And the milkman conspiracy. And of course, this is the last mine, which I'm not going to spoil. Now, for this achievement, you want to go to. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Coach Elanda's basic braining. And this is the last one I do before I cut the video, because again, another long one. You want to go and talk to... Now that I've got this, a lot easier. What in the world? Crap. Did I go the wrong way? Yes, I did. Talk to this other guy, and you want to come back to the cannon. You're probably asking why are we back in the first level of the game? Why are we here? Why are we doing this? Now, I don't know if it'll give you a rank prior to hitting rank 101. I don't know, but here's what you want to do. Target course, points you at 30 and you have 35 seconds. You will be penalized at point for now. Now for this, I advise keeping your camera up like this. You kind of turn and stand right in the middle every time. See what I'm doing? Just keep circling it. And yes, this is a lot of reflex. Never stop moving, just keep moving and keep swinging. Oh, 
Boom. Ba -ba -dum -ba 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 -ba. And once you've done all of these, which I'll show you them all in just a second, you will obtain math is hard achieve rank 101 like i said i don't think you can get it until you actually do hit rank 100 but i'm gonna keep playing it just in case to see as you can see you have 30 points 60 seconds and it does get increasingly hard with every level like i said same strategy keep moving keep swinging keep spinning your camera so you're on target also make sure you, you recognize the shapes And this is why I say keep moving and try to stick to the middle though, because that'll give you the best route and whatnot. Uh, you have to swing at him. You can't like use your lasers. You can't put them on fire. Nothing is gonna work. Ah oh, crap! Don't do what I just did. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, and then hit it again. And as you can see, now you need 40 points, 75 seconds. You lose a point for one missed, and you will lose two for hitting a friendly target. This is where it gets interesting. You really gotta be on the ball this time. As I said, this one is a really rough one and really hard in the RNG because you could get targets anywhere. And you have basically two seconds to hit a target or maybe even three seconds depending on where they're at and what the timer says, but a lot of times you don't have a lot of time. Also, having your sound up for this can help too because you can hear the baby make a noise, so you won't hit it and see it makes a burp or a little baby noise. That way you know it's a baby in case you can't see the silhouette very well and you won't hit them. Granted, that's not a 100% way to do it. In fact, it's still kind of hard even if you do hear the sound, but you know how it is. Ah, oh, man, I can't believe I just did that. As you can see, you have plenty of time if you really work at it. Damn. Alright, and let's see. 40 points, 60 seconds now. As I said, it gets harder and harder until you finally complete the training. I really hope I can get this rank up. If not, I'm going to have to come back and do this again. Sometimes the RNG is really nice here. And other times it's mean as hell. Also, as you can see, when you're in the middle, it can pretty much reach everything. Alright, and I think that was it. Wow, no, I stand corrected. There's still more. 50 points, 75 seconds. Like I said, it will get harder and harder. And I hear this thing is probably the achievement that makes people tear their hair out more than anything. Especially since the achievement doesn't tell you what to do. Like, how are you supposed to know to come back and keep hitting the button for more, you know, tests and more points and to gain another rank? You wouldn't know. This says math is hard. So... Like I said, Tim Schafer can be a bit of a master patrol at times, but hey, you know, it gets you a ton of stuff, ton of fragments, and extra ranks, so it's not all that bad. Plus, like I said, if you keep up this little technique I'm doing right here, keep turning the camera, keep running around, keep moving fast, you should have it in no time and no problem. Even if you hit a few babies or something or you miss one, you should be just fine. And if the RNG favors you, Bam! Rank up! Bonus scene at rank 1000. And that, my friends, is how you obtain the achievement. Math is hard. Bam. But of course, we're not going to get that just yet for the simple fact that we're not at 100 yet. But the regular ranks we're going to get in the other levels will come in handy now. Instead of hitting 100, we'll be maxed out at 101. So we're actually going to hit 100 before we even finish. Let me just go ahead and get out of here. Yes. yes. Alright, and with that, I'm going to go back to the tower. As again, I said this is another long episode. I'm going to go ahead and end it here, though. I'm just going to hit that. Thank you. I don't know why they give me a fusion grenades, but whatever. 
I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, and I hope you've been enjoying this. And as you can see, those are pretty much the last of the achievements you really need anymore. Now we just have the, you know, the final level to complete and other stuff like that, and we'll be all set. Click the last figments, the last stuff in the last level, and luckily in the last level, since you once you're in the last level, you can't leave it. That's it. You're done. You're stuck. If you haven't found everything, you're pretty much screwed. You're gonna have to play it again, which is why I so say you gotta be good and you gotta make sure to get it all. Luckily, at the very beginning of the level, there is a ticket booth that allows you to turn in uh, cobwebs, cards, cores, which is why you want to keep a few cores on you as well, at least three or four, I believe. So I have, what, six, I think? I have, yes, yeah, six, which is fine for me because you only have got, what, three more levels to go? So six is just fine. You want to have at least three going into the last level. Because you're going to get some cobwebs, some car, well not car, but cobwebs and other stuff in there. So, th I think there's three cobwebs in there that'll give you the last of your side cards. And you can turn all your items in at that booth and you can hit rank 101 inside of his brain. That way you can get the achievements without having to run back and go do it all over again. So, I'm going to cut the video here. It's already way too late. Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And we're going to be closing up this episode. And we're going to be closing up this Let's Play very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.